Okay, uh, so this is the next uh, webcast. Uh, my name is Sergei Savastyuk. I have a PhD in applied mathematics. And today I'm going to be talking uh, about swing trading with uh, autopilot, okay? So uh, what we do at uh, Tikeron is actually uh, creating a interesting algorithmic trading type of approaches and robots and tools for do-it-yourself people. And uh, uh, why robots? Because uh, a lot of people on a different uh, um, presentation say when you trade, you have to be as robotic as uh, uh, possible, okay? Uh, so what we do, uh, we actually present different types of uh, uh, robots and the technologies for day traders and the swing traders. So the day traders, uh, like uh, people who are trading within a day, trying to get out of position by the end of the day. And the swing traders stay in the position longer, like a few days, a week, and sometimes several weeks, maybe several months, okay? Uh, but the more months, the more you kind of become an investor, okay? So today I'm going to be talking about the swing trading and about the autopilots. Uh, so it is a kind of interesting topic because I'm going to go from very basic ideas and uh, going to go through the, uh, like our pattern search engine and then uh, through the real time patterns where you can build your own robots, but also I'm going to be talking about the robots themselves, okay? So why don't we start, okay? The first thing is a lot of our technology and the robots are based on the patterns, okay? That's kind of important to understand. Even though we're right now trying to go to the different areas, but the core is the pattern recognition, okay? We're using uh, AI to recognize the patterns uh, in the market. And then we use the statistics around these patterns and then present the trades, okay? So what are the patterns? Very briefly, I will tell you analogy, okay? So the medical patterns, when the doctor looks at your ECG and then uh, says, oh, okay, this is a normal uh, run, right? Or arrhythmia. Uh, or anything else, the kicker deer, right? Why? Because you're just looking at this and can recognize the problems. How does the doctor recognize the problem? This is actual ECG. And this is a shape, okay? The important part of recognition is to identify the shapes and the parameters, acceptable parameters like amplitudes, the phase, and all kinds of stuff. So when you put that into the parametric state, then either doctor can recognize it, or these days, uh, artificial intelligence or like neural networks can recognize these type of patterns, okay? So when you understand that part, then you would say, oh, okay, there are maybe other patterns, like let's say for the self-driving cars, also with the uh, different parameters described in the cars and other cars around, you can also come up with the uh, algorithms which are gonna recognize particular patterns and behave as, as real people, right? As here doctors, okay? So that's what we actually do. We identify specific patterns and then uh, go to the market, look at the thousands and thousands of different stocks, ETFs, and they say, oh, okay, we found a, a, a pattern, okay? So for understanding of uh, what is the real kind of effect we're using uh, in the trading is uh, trading on, on breakouts, okay? So what is a breakout? A breakout is a moment when a stock get, goes out of the, some kind of a pattern, right? So let's see, it was a channel. You see the stock was going up, down, up, down in the particular uh, channel. And this is a resistance line. And this is a support line. And uh, some people buying, selling, buying, selling, and they kind of get used to that. 
But uh, then uh, it, it's kind of, you, you can interpret that as a kind of fight with we and the uh, bulls and bears, right? Uh, and then all of a sudden, for whatever event, somebody, you see, this is a volume, below the volume, uh, kind of uh, starting uh, buying more, right? So that means it breaks out, out of this line and goes up. And that's a breakout point because we're going to be talking about these breakout points quite often today, okay? So then there is anxiety in the market. Why? Because uh, those who were bears were buying short positions and then thinking, oh, they're going to kind of making, right, at this moment, uh, they're going to be selling more short uh, positions and then uh, making money. But all of a sudden they got, but possibly in the so-called short squeeze when uh, bulls kind of decided to move out of that range. And then the bears uh, buying back their stocks and pushing the stock up. That's what happened quite a few times with uh, Tesla, right? So this particular moment in, uh, in this history or in price, we call it the breakout, okay? So now let's look at the uh, different types of uh, uh, patterns. One of the uh, most uh, popular, it's called head and shoulders bottom, which is a bullish pattern. You see what happens, it is also price uh, goes down, up, and this is a, like a, a resistance line, right? So then goes down more than up, so that means this is a head and this is a shoulder. So it's kind of, a, uh, it could be reversed. I will show you the reverse version. Uh, and then what happens, it kind of approaches the sub, uh, uh, resistance line again, cannot break it. And then at this particular moment, you see two shoulders and one head, kind of reverse a little bit. Uh, and then this is a breakout, okay? So what we do in our company, we go to the market and find this type of patterns and other 39 different types of patterns. And then what we do, we analyze them and then see what are the probabilities, what are the odds of uh, success, uh, what are the confidence level, I'm kind of using different synonyms, um, to get to the target price. Okay, so this uh, price from breakout to the target price is the profit, okay? So then we publish a breakout point. That means here you, you supposed to buy and the target price, it's better to get out because it's like a, a spring, right? It kind of moves up and then definitely it's gonna go down after this particular uh, point, okay? Uh, so this quote is a head and shoulders. Then uh, what are the uh, real challenges in this type of research? Let me show you these challenges. Uh, let's assume it's also head and shoulders, right? And then mm, from pattern recognition standpoint, this is a head and shoulders, right? And this is the also head and shoulders, right? So all of them head and shoulders. Uh, and then uh, what we do, we kind of uh, identify different types of shapes, but then depending on the shape, you see, this is one uh, distance to target, it's a profit. And then uh, this pattern is gonna give you smaller uh, distance to target or your potential profit, right? So then uh, this is for the bears. You see, this is kind of now, it's clearly why it's called head and shoulders this is a head, this is a couple of shoulders. And then uh, uh, it also has a support line, it's all reversed. And then it's gonna go down and that gets to the target price, right? So that's, that's what we really do. And then uh, let's see if I have, uh, uh, oops. Um, okay, uh, let's see if I get there. Yeah, okay, so this is a uh, uh, bearish patterns, okay? And uh, uh, 
these are the different types of bullish patterns. And we have educational course in our academy uh, talking about all kinds of uh, patterns like flux, penance, uh, cup and handle. And uh, we've not invented this type of uh, patterns, that's for sure, but we built technology to go to the market and find them on different time frames. Okay. So, for instance, if you take one candle, I, I'm, I'm not talking about what is a candle is, I assume you know that. Uh, if you take one minute candle, then it's going to be small part. And if you take one hour candle, it's going to be the same shape, but it's going to be stretched over the longer period of time, right? Uh, so, you see, uh, there's a, a lot of theory around uh, this type of a patterns. And then uh, we uh, go and find them. But what is the problem with finding a pattern? You really don't know how well behaved stocks in a particular uh, pattern, right? What we do, we do backtesting. What is a backtesting? It's a calculation of odds of success or confidence level. So let's assume you take like a very simple pattern, like going up, down, and up. Like uh, this, uh, people kind of buy on the deep and then assume on the deep uh, you're going to be successful. But quite often it can go up, down a little bit, and go all the way down. So that means the pattern uh, was broke, and that means it's a failure, right? Uh, so this is success, success, success. And then this type of uh, events took place, like let's say four times during 12 months so that means a total four and three successes and out of four so that means we say odds of success three fourth which is uh, like 75 percent but obviously it could be more of those within a particular period of time so what we do we recognize this time of type of appearance not only not only today but also in the past and then see if they behave really well, okay? Um, and that's the uh, difference between us and anybody else who doesn't test uh, the validity of those parts, okay? So what we do, you see, this is a cup and handle uh, type of a bullish pattern, very popular if you recognize them somewhere by a naked eye that's a good one but we can recognize them with the technology and this type of a reverse pattern also cup and handle but bearish you see going up down a small handle and then going down okay so let's uh go and and see um uh, what's going on uh with the statistics okay so we're gonna go here ai trading and this is the ai pattern search engine okay uh so we're gonna go to the uh pattern types and then go to let's say cup and handle okay so you see the same pattern the same type and now let's look at the historical results so you see Confidence level, odds of success, let's say 60%, distance to target, let's say 5%. And what we did, uh, we found 4,355 patterns were recognized and 67% reached the target price. Okay, wow, that's cool. So all of these records in the past with a 67% uh, really hit rate, out of confidence level. So if you're going to find other patterns, let's say I want to be confident on the level of 70%. So that means you're going to find fewer patterns, patterns, and then uh, the number of them are going to reach the target price 75%. Okay. So when we publish a pattern with the confidence 80%, so that means that you see it's a fewer number, but then the number of patterns reaching the target price is growing. So that means you're going to say, wow, cool. I'm going to wait for patterns only with the 80% confidence level. You're going to be right, okay? But you're going to be then trading less, okay? 
and that's what is important to understand that trading less, you making less, but you more confident and more chances you're going to make money. Okay. So uh, what uh, uh, we do, let's say, going to go to simplify pattern search. So what it is, it is. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh this is all the stocks from uh our my actually home watch list let's say i want to find all patterns in dow jones stocks okay i'm clicking here this is all uh, dow jones stocks and this is the patterns for them you see quite a lot of them bearish okay crm shows different types of patterns um and then uh bearish rectangular okay so how to look what is the confidence here very low let's see okay 61 percent johnson and johnson uh bearish okay uh so what we do we click here now we see johnson and johnson and then see confidence level 61 percent distance to target is two percent the types of a pattern uh that cat bounce well, it's kind of a, a buying in a deep and a reverse shape. So what we see here, uh, breakout $175.90, and uh, you have to exit uh, about uh, $171.60. So we give you breakout and a target, okay? So if you go to the, let's say, stocks of S&P 500, this all stocks of S&P 500, confidence level i'm going to maximize 73 percent you see uh striker gives us a bearish a lot of bearish patterns being uh actually um recognized uh dollar triangle symmetric let's see at one of the bullish patterns which uh, is uh, giving you 69 percent okay you see a lot of people looking at this type of a triangle type of a patterns and uh, uh what we see here with the confidence you can make three percent uh this is a breakout entry target uh price is here so that means you can make about three percent and this is a really live picture of the chart uh you see it's kind of breakout and that's kind of already halfway to the target uh, level, okay? And then we here publish all the uh, statistics, 58% uh, reach the target price, which is not bad, okay? Um, okay, so you understood uh, the basic of patterns, okay? Now, uh, and this is a really pattern search engine is a really good tool to build uh, your own robot because what you can do, you can go here and then create all your own criteria for stocks, uh, Forex, penny stocks, separately ETFs and the cryptos, okay? And then uh, what you do, you go to edit and then here uh, you can uh, select uh, 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 like a, a very specific uh, or some categories, okay? So here's selected banks and the biotechnology. You can say commercial services and communication. This is the uh, categories where you're gonna be asking us to find the patterns. If you want to find patterns in all, you say all and save. Okay, so now you're searching in all, all, you see stocks, okay? Now, what kind of a patterns, you see? So here is a bearish, or you can say uh, bullish, okay? So if you wanna find only bearish patterns, you click here, edit. And now this is a types. Uh, for instance, if you want to find only cup and handle, type of a patterns you click here if you want as i showed you would see a uh, dead cat bounce flags and all of them kind of looking down safe and we're gonna go and find here in the list only those patterns which you asked okay uh so now 
with the confidence level, the minimum confidence level I set up 52, price range between zero and whatever the number, okay? Uh, what is the number here? Uh, yep, about 50, oh, 101. So between zero and, and if you want to get a, let's up to like $68, okay? Distance to target, not less than 5%, you see? Uh, I'm, I'm finding between 5% and 100%, okay? And uh, these are the uh, stocks uh, which uh, kind of fall into this uh, uh, category, okay? And, and, and then if you like this search, okay? So you can create daily alerts uh, for the similar settings. So you're gonna take these settings you see here, and then you're gonna be receiving alerts every day uh when the patterns uh, shows up okay so this is a tool uh which is very useful too okay uh one of the thing before i'm gonna go to robots uh is uh is i would say screener okay so typically what i do when i trade uh i use screener to find uh, stocks with a really good potential, either up or down, okay? For that reason, we have this buy, sell, uh, daily type of recommendations, and I can take, uh, let's say, buy, all buys, you see this is all buys, or I can take all strong uh, sales, okay? And then trade on them. So I create the watch list, okay? Uh, so, there are criteria which you can create a watch list. Let's say you want to get only strong sales at this moment with this market. Okay. Uh, yeah, apply a filter. Okay. So now I have only strong sales with this market, right? So I'm going to be able to create watch list. Clicking here, I'm taking, you see, 20 out of 1,000. And then click on the watch list, and these uh, guys are going to go to the watch list. Okay. So if I want to uh, get more fundamentals, let's say market cap, I want to only between uh, 10 billion and 200 billion, apply filter. Okay. Now, how, 136. It's a really good size for the watch list. And uh, you see all of them strong sales and all of them kind of really large caps. Uh, actually, very interesting too, you see, we're tracking also investor uh, insider trading. So you can see who buys, who sells, and what amounts, okay, on, uh, insiders. It's official information, they have to publish that. And then uh, I can uh, click here, uh, the 20 stocks, create the watch list, and then trade on them. Plus, what I can do, I can transfer this list to the pattern search engine, okay? Pattern search engine. I'm kind of taking first 20, and now I know patterns. So I took all of those which we recommend to sell. Plus, I'm adding a criteria of the patterns, and then all of a sudden, I have really good opportunities to trade, and then by creating a watch list, I can actually trade these stocks tomorrow, okay? So now, so this is a kind of a do-it-yourself type of approach where you create all your opportunities with this analysis, with fundamental analysis, technical analysis. What we did, we actually were asked uh, this type of questions, like, guys, how would you trade yourself? So we automated all this search and then presented uh, this type of opportunities in robots, okay? And then, um, actually, before I go to robots, uh, let me tell you the following. So when you have all these opportunities, let's say, click here, you see, make a paper trade. The paper trade is a manual paper trade where you would be able to, uh, uh make a record you see my paper trades this is a, the records of my of me trading uh really on every opportunity i find right 
uh, and then uh, you can analyze that uh, and then make records, okay? So that means we have that tool which helps you to learn about our technology without losing any money, okay? So the same thing with robots, okay? When you go to robots, so what we do, we're asking robots to publish paper trades. So then you're gonna be able to watch uh, what's going on, okay? So for instance, this is a swing trader, okay? You see a swing trader and trades only five stocks. You see AMC, Neo, Netflix, uh, PayPal, and PLTR, I don't, know, don't remember what it is. But I can view the details, annualized return 41%. Let's click here. So you see, this is a description of this robot. So what it does, it, uh, uh, it actually kind of describes to you what was the philosophy, what is the approach. So we're very transparent in a way of uh, what, what we do, okay? <clears throat> so then you see, uh, these are the trades you see this is a profit so let's look uh, this is a current price okay uh, uh this is one day type of a chart this is the entry positions you see uh only one is a long amc and this is a short so there's a several short positions okay and all of them so far making money okay um then there are pending orders so that means uh, you can see what robot does in terms of what are the expectations okay where to buy where to sell um you can look at that so this is a number of shares out of the nominal so every position on each trade ten thousand let's say you uh trading 1000 so you pretty much divide that number of shares by 10 and that's a approximate number where trading and then you're going to see similar results or whatever number you take you take a proportion okay um now um so let's assume you subscribe to only one robot so what it happens here every kind of a minute or even less the, uh, this page is getting updated and the robot shows its trade. So that means when there was a time today at about 10 minutes before closing bell, um, the robot bought AMC, okay? And then at 11.43 sold uh, this PLTR. What is the PLTR? I forgot. Um, so I'm clicking here. Okay, so it is Palantir Technologies. Yes, that's what I thought. Okay, um, so it's a, by clicking on every uh, blue line, you're actually uh, gonna get something, right? Um, so uh, you see, this is a time of entry position, and this is the time uh, of the, uh, there's no exit. It's, it's holding time. It's been holding like four hours eight hours, uh, one day, Netflix, you should be shorted, uh, but it's kind of a thinking maybe it's not uh, good or bad, right? So you see, now, if you, uh, as I said, if you uh, subscribe to one robot, you can look at this page, but the uh, problem is if you subscribe to one, two, three or more robots, uh, then you have to look at every single page, okay? So then what it, it, it we come up with is create to autopilot, okay? What autopilot does uh, is publishing to my paper trades, all these trades. So that means if I go to, you see right here, my paper trades, if I go here, then I see all my trades uh right on one page so you see and this is the all robots i subscribe so you see i subscribe to four robots and then uh i see all trades related to these uh four uh robots okay so from that perspective uh you see it's it's not bad 
one, two, uh, kind of out of uh, seven, uh, like uh, what I have five green, okay? And the same thing, it, it gives you the time of entry. And this is uh, what is the uh, robot. You see this mostly came out of one robot. Uh, that's what happened, okay? And then, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, you can here on the paper tree, it kind of exit yourself, okay? And then uh, you see here pending orders, which are what the robot is expecting to do, okay? Uh, when, uh, so we're gonna be publishing soon our target price and everything related to that, okay? Uh, so, Let's go back here. So you see, I covered uh, pretty much everything. Plus, I covered these patterns, and then trailing stops. Okay. Uh, sometimes you might decide to stay in the position and not to exit on the target price. Then we have in our robots, uh, in some of them, in the description, you will see the trailing stop. So what is a trailing stop? Let's assume you kind of entered right here. Okay, we set up the some trailing stops, so that means exit when it goes to this level. Let's say minus five percent. Okay, it's a loss. You expect you say, oh, okay, that's a stop loss. That's okay. But when the stop goes up, then the trailing stop is actually trailing uh, the gain and says from that point it's still going to be let's say five or three percent and then exits right here okay uh and and that's how some of our robots work so that means we're not necessarily exiting on the target price but we might stay in the position so that means we keep tracking and giving you notification only when we have uh, uh exit okay so you get that notification either in the uh mobile app or uh in a in a web version okay so the same thing uh trailing stops right here in here okay uh so uh what uh we do in terms of a subscription so if you uh, buy like I, one bundle so what it means bundle you kind of subscribe to one robot but then you get 60 dollars credit Okay, why uh, credit is good? Because you can use this money to actually subscribe to other products, let's say like screener or like pattern search engine, okay? If you get two bundles, then you get kind of $20 credit and then can switch between any two robots and follow two. But if you go after the three robots, then you can get all robots. So when you get the fresh hold of three, then you get all uh, all robots plus $120 monthly credit for other products. You can buy a lot of products, okay, for that thing, okay? Uh, so let, let me show you how it works. You click to pricing, okay? And then you see, uh, let's go to the swing trader. And then uh, go to the intermediate one. Uh, this is a annual subscription, which is giving you a pretty good deal in order to see original prices with the 90, I'm gonna unsubscribe and uh, gonna go to pricing. Uh, okay. Uh, so let's go to the, um, see, um let me see customize yeah yeah you see 90 dollars okay for the one robot and then uh you get you see 30 dollars 30 dollars some parents which is trend prediction engine. or you can switch let's say you don't like trend prediction engine you click here you see the same 90 dollars but you still have a credit and then screener okay you select screener, okay, boom. And you see $90. If you go annual, then it's about 40% saving. You pay pretty much 54 on annual basis, okay? On a monthly basis, but pay at once for, for a year, okay? That's the subscription base uh, 
Um, and then uh, if you guys have any questions, I'm about to finish. I think I kind of presented the pretty much everything about swing trading, but there are other tools. You see have other tools and then you can select them by clicking and then manipulating in this way. Uh, okay. Okay, if you don't have any questions, then I'm going to stop recording and then stop sharing. And then good luck with your trading. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get to the, let's say in Academy, there are educational courses, one-on-one -on -one lessons and everything like videos, a lot of videos, eBooks, blogs, and articles, okay? Thank you and goodbye.